If you've seen some of these videos, you know I like sharing uh, my own entrepreneurial journey and just kind of reflecting on starting uh, projects, starting companies, starting communities. Uh, and so I wanted to make a video for other people who are out there uh, starting their own businesses, communities, projects, new endeavors. So one thing I wanted to talk about was how do you handle criticism from your, from your customers, from your colleagues, from your community that you're helping to build, uh, and to just share some examples in my experience of, of how that's worked. So the way I try to approach this is to look at, you know, when you get criticism, uh, feedback, maybe even compliments, you know, how is this an opportunity to make the process better? How much do you try to perfect things before you put it out there? And it's a balance, right? If you, if you don't do enough, the point doesn't get across or it just it doesn't land. On the other hand, if you, if you just spend too much time working and perfecting and getting it right, maybe it never sees the light of day. So I want to share just two examples from air miners uh, of, of things that have come in as, as feedback and, and criticism, and then kind of how, how to reposition that and turn that into an opportunity. Um, these aren't like the craziest things ever, but I figured I would share these stories as, as kind of simple examples of how to take in feedback and then figure out how to, how to turn that into an opportunity. Uh, so one thing I've heard from several different people recently is, you know, what is happening at Air Miners on the event side, right? Like, uh, you know, how do I find this recording? Is it recorded? Uh, when's the next event? Um, and, you know, the, the basically this is kind of confusing, right? It's hard to find out what's happening. And in the end, people feel kind of either, either that the process sucks or they feel kind of guilty because they're like, I should know about this stuff. So even for me, before we had the Air Miners events calendar, I would Google Eventbrite Air Miners Oceans or Eventbrite Air Miners Bill Gross to find the Eventbrite link when people would be looking for it, right? So like all of that uh, feedback was coming in from my own experience, from hearing about other people. Uh, and so Jason built the terrific Air Miners events calendar. Uh, you can check it out here. Um, it has all the events. It has, it's just like one place you can go to find out what's ha what's coming up at Air Miners. Uh, and my, my sort of intent here is to plug the calendar a little bit but really to step back and think about how that came about. And it came out from people saying, hey, you know, I'm lost, I can't, I can't find this. Or I'm looking in this place, but I'm not finding it. Where am I supposed to look? Um, and so if you get that type of feedback or criticism or, or just you know, comments from people, again, just tr I always try and figure out, okay, how is this an opportunity to improve uh, the process? So my second example about how to handle feedback and criticism as an entrepreneur has to do with the Air Miners boot up that we just launched. And so over the last year or so with Air Miners, I've heard from so many people that it's it's hard to get started in this space. People that already have a background in it or people that just can study everything, you know, they manage to kind of get a foothold in it, start to have discussions, start new things. But the challenge is if, if you don't have all the time to do that, it's really tricky. You can kind of come in, feel like an imposter, feel like you don't really know everything, and therefore, you know, you don't have much to add. But these people are smart, they're connected, they're maybe super experienced in another field, or maybe they're, they don't have much experience, but they're just coming in with tons of curiosity. And I've always been thinking about how do we support these people? The way I think about it actually is what if Barack Obama, President Barack Obama came in and into Air Miners and said, hey, I want to know about carbon removal. The reality is we didn't really have good tools to support somebody coming in. So that's why we created the Air Miners boot up. So again, it's coming from feedback, from criticism of if, you know, feeling lost, feeling uncomfortable, feeling uh, you know, like, like an imposter. How do you channel that into, hey, you know, let's, let's build some tools to help people get up to speed, to feel like they know what's happening, to feel like they know the terms and the, the solutions and the technologies and the people. And that's where the, the Air Miners boot up came out of that. So looking at the Air Miners calendar and the boot up, both of those really started with, with criticism and feedback. So I'm inspired by all the new people joining the carbon removal industry and we wanna help more. If you have other ideas or other criticisms, please send them my way. I'd love to hear about uh, what you're looking for, what you're not finding uh, and, and how you need help.